What's going on, guys? Well, I got my Gen 8 back. She's back home where she needs to be. Let me see. Let me turn, see if these batteries are good for my trailer lights. And the whole reason that I wanted it back was for this reason. She pulls this trailer like it's not even behind it. I'm going to tell you now. I love this truck. My other truck right there, the Blazer that's on it, is a beast. But it sags and loses traction hard on this damn trailer behind it. But it'll <laughs> that headlight out. It sucks that my sound simulator quit the other day. I hadn't taken it apart yet, but. I haven't even drove this Blazer in like three weeks, maybe. I just put the servo back in it the other day and I hadn't even drove it. In fact, I really wasn't planning on driving it tonight. It's so cold outside. See how them shocks sack though? We're getting ready to go put some thick oil in these babies here in just a minute. That's my task for tonight. Just a quick little video saying she's back. And does reverse work? Yes, they do. The only thing else, I think one headlight. Man, this truck and this trailer were just matched for each other, I'm telling you. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos on the trailer when I first got her, some, I mentioned it's, it's homemade and it's heavy. The bottom of it is like one of them closet racks and then it's got some plywood on it and then it's got some some little piece of metal pretty much welded to it and it's not a bad trailer at all but it doesn't have bearings in it it's just a free rolling trailer it does great this truck has pulled it for miles I guess in its life I'm running a 21 turn axial motor in this Gen 8. And she is a great running truck. Might lose the tire if I go too fucking fast because I don't even know if the lugs are on it to be honest. Now a 17 turn motor in the Gen 8 will not do that right there, barely. It's very hard. Well, it would do that, but then to go like to a slow reverse, you know what I mean? Without a big jump is not easy with it. I really didn't want to get the tires all muddy, but I already did on accident, so just do a little run through the water tonight. Them two good looking trucks, I don't care what you say. Yeah, enough water because I am going to go take and fix these shocks tonight. I ain't going to get them all the way. Let's see how I get your backs up. Back right over here. This truck, I'm telling you, it does great with this trailer. She got a real gangster lean, though. Okay. Now move this 
stool. So. We're gonna go see how far this thing will get up this hill. See what these trail canyons can do with a trailer behind it. Oh, same thing. <laughs> and if I got all four tires up there, she would pull it. Maybe not. <laughs> well, I was about to disconnect it anyway. Look at that gangster lean. What the? Try to get around the glass without knocking it over. Marty's driving without a steering wheel at all. It, he's done one of them new kind of rides. We got a caved in course here. Alright, look at these bummer bumps. Now, then, I think we're ready. That thing is. <laughs> Tires are wet. She is so crooked right now. Wow. There's Marty's guitar. The interior's all cockeyed right now. All right, guys. Well, I figure I'll finish this video off with a little update. I went ahead and took the shocks apart. The seals were not good on them anymore. Luckily, I had a set of seals that worked in them. I put a thicker shock oil in there. We got the stance. I don't know if you can see because of that, but she's sitting straight. I haven't drove it yet. We got the stance up there, and it's it's kind of feels really good now it was horrible which no big deal but let's just see if she stays straight or not well it's cold out tonight here in North Carolina even oh well, look at it she's a, a little bit cut she's a lot straighter than it was now I do have to keep the shocks on one side a little bit adjust it up compared to the other side well, that's torque twist and stuff but
That is so much better. Well, actually, I think one of the last things we did was run over these rocks before I did the shocks. And now that's where it used to be. Oh yeah, that is. It's a lot better. I had a, two red cat shocks in there, and then I had two other shocks that had the same rubber seals in them, luckily. Not sure if the old seals were really real bad or they just needed adjusted, but they had leaked out everything. Oh man, she's just sitting so much nicer. I did adjust the pinion gear, the mesh on them. But this transmission hit, I don't know if it'll show here, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of slot from forward to reverse. That's just in the drivetrain right there before it goes. Can't really tell what I'm doing, but. It ain't that I can't climb them, it's just getting my tires just right. When we hit these earlier, it almost wanted to flip this way. It's holding it up now. It honestly was like this earlier when I done that. Oh, that's much better. Marty's not inside of it right now. Yeah. Tires were wet earlier and I slid straight down this thing. Let's see what happens now. Well, it's still slid. But we made it. <clears throat> Let me put it up here for a minute. What a mess of. I still got this up here with no way to it. I'm going to take all these rock stuff off here tomorrow. Put them somewhere else. This thing's a beast. Got some flex too. Alright, guys, we're ending it here. The Gen 8's back. We got a few more things to do to get her up to par again. I'm gonna have to get another headlight. 
I don't think I have anything laying around. Maybe I do. I don't know. We'll find out. So, please like and subscribe. Until next time, peace.